Well, the Cardinal State Governor has received its second quarter security report and it isn't looking good. No fewer than 770 people were kidnapped within the period. And Habila Darofei filed this report presented in our studio. Insecurity has been rife in many parts of Nigeria and more so in Kaduna State. As expected, the government appears to have been expediting efforts to curb the menace. One step is the state security report, which is handed to the governor by the Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Arouan. On the state of security in Kaduna State, the data on security incidents in the state during the second quarter of 2021 reflects the real agony of our citizens and communities, their pains and losses, and the fears and anxiety that have created considerable distress. The report also outlines what the Kaduna State Government and the security agencies are doing to contain the situation and provide relief to our communities. The governor, El Rafai, maintains his position on the limitation of governors to control security agents posted to their respective state. He calls on the federal government to support the state to make up for manpower deficit. The governor sympathizes with the victims of banditry and the families of security agencies who lost their lives in the fight against banditry across the state. He promises to review the security architecture in line with what is currently obtainable and appeals to citizens who are losing confidence in security agencies to support and pray for the state. As governor of this state, it is a matter of profound regret for me that our considerable investments Insecurity are yet to manifest in the defeat or at least the considerable degradation of the criminals that menace our people. We have consistently supported the federal security agencies deployed to our state with logistics, resources and equipment. Apart from these recurrent expenses, the state government has undertaken significant capital expenditure provide facilities that can multiply the capacity of security agencies to deter crime and conduct effective investigations of those that do occur. Insecurity, particularly in frontline communities, has threatened food security because most farmers in those areas have abandoned their farmlands for fear of being killed or kidnapped for ransom. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.